Welcome to our channel, Catch the Stock. Dear friends, please take a moment to read the disclaimer before proceeding. Thank you. Yes, that's right. Today our focus is on is on a banking stock, IDBI. Yeah, I selected this stock for several reasons. Number one, revenue growth. IDBI has given consistent revenue growth quarter after quarter. In the last quarter, its revenue stood at six thousand eight hundred crores. That's a significant increase from five thousand seven hundred crores in the previous quarter. Second point is the stable net profit. The bank has maintained a stable net profit of 1,200 crores, indicating it an healthy financial performance. And the third one reason is the government and LICs take sale. Yes, in the latest news update, the government plans to release 30.48 percent of its stake. While LIC also is planning to sell 30.24% of its stake in IDBI Bank. This development is promising. Uh, let me tell you why is this promising. As it is likely to attract both domestic and international investors. This injection of capital can be utilized for the bank's growth and expansion. So this is a positive news. So having seen all these fundamentals, I would say my fundamental box is ticked for this stock. So from a technical perspective, if we could uh, look at the IDBI bank stock chart, it shows some interesting trend. It shows some interesting trend. It was in a downtrend. See if you could see here, it was in a downtrend until recently. On September 1st, I believe it was September 1st when it experienced a major breakout. This was the day uh, when the news breakout of a stake sale. The stock, if you could see here, the stock opened up a gap up open. It was from 60, I believe this was 60 and it opened at 63.20. And since then it has been continuing its upward trajectory. So. At currently, the stock is in the consolidating within the specific price range. So, I have combined my positive fundamentals with the encouraging technical analysis. So, I find this setup attractive. So, when I find such setup which is very attractive, I intend to explore this opportunity. Uh, so, I will be entering this trade at here that is 71.65 and uh, I would set an exit level of 76.95. Uh, what I wanted to share in this is, we should all know that trading carries inherent uncertainties. I am fully prepared to manage these uncertainties if my setup proves to be correct. So in this case, I have explained my setup and happy to take this trade. So all I want to express here is that the importance of conducting your analysis and establishing a predefined entry and exit level before executing your trade. So you should know where is your entry and where is your exit level. It's not that you take a trade and then you look out for exit level. That's, uh, uh, that's not a proper way of trading. And once you have your exit and entry level, you should have you should have adherence strictly to these levels. Remember, as a trader, you are responsible for both your profits and losses, not me. You are responsible. So you should know what you are trading and why you are trading. The most critical aspects of a successful trading is understanding your trades, why you are taking them. Master these tricks and understand it, you will be a better confident trader. So in, I hope I have provided some valuable insights to you of, on this trade. If you found this information helpful, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. I once again like to thank you for your attention. Thank you.